The performance patch offers users a new approach to vocal sound design by combining the powerful sounds of male and female choirs with the unique and versatile performances of four solo singers. Looking at the interface, there are six vocal groups including bass, tenor, male choir, female choir, alto, and soprano, each with its own volume, pan, and equalization controls. To turn on a particular group, click the power button below the desired group's name and the power bar will turn from red to green to indicate it is engaged. In order to adjust equalization, simply select a group such as the male choir by clicking on the name, thereby making it the primary group. Once selected, you can then make changes to its equalization without affecting the sound of any other group. Cycle through the four available vowels, including ahs, o's, oos, and hums, by either clicking on them within the interface or changing them using the purple key switches starting at C0. Engage True Legato by clicking the Legato button located in the top left of the interface. Clicking on the Edit button, you can adjust the speed of the Legato transition between two notes, making the transition faster or slower in order to match the speed of your current production. The Overlap feature is a great way to customize the mapping of engaged groups. With Overlap mode enabled, all of the engaged groups' ranges overlap across the keyboard. In Overlap mode, one can enable both male and female choirs and trigger both at the same time within their respective ranges. When Overlap is disengaged, all vocal groups are mapped evenly across the keyboard, allowing for individual voicing. All of Eris's patches share the same reverb, envelope, movement, and effect sections, providing a unified user experience. The reverb section provides access to seven impulse responses. Easily switch between reverbs by selecting the current reverb name and choosing from the reverb list that appears. Modify the envelope by adjusting the envelope's attack, hold, decay, sustain, and release. To turn on and off the reverb or the envelope, simply click on the power button immediately to the right of the reverb and envelope buttons. Even though the power button appears to be shared between the reverb and envelope, you can engage them independently by selecting one and clicking the power button. One of the main goals of Eris was to provide producers and composers with a fully usable choir and solo singer library. However, we also wanted to provide users the ability to take those same samples and transform them in exciting new ways. Thus, the creation of the movement and effect sections. The movement section is where you can dive deep into the creative sound design elements of Eris. Looking at the modulation section, you'll find four separate LFO slots that function independently from one another. You can choose between six different modulation types, including volume, pan, pitch, low pass, high pass, and band pass. Within each LFO, you can choose between four different sound waves, including rectangle, triangle, sine, and sawtooth, as well as control the frequency, fade in, phase, and pulse width. You can also control the presence of the LFO with the amount fader. Each of the four LFO slots can be turned on and off independently by clicking the power button on the left side of the modulation window. You can also customize the modulation by clicking on the currently loaded modulator and selecting from the drop-down menu. To change the division of the LFO or select a list of available presets, click on the Division Presets button on the right side of the LFO. The step sequencer includes two separate slots, which allow you to have multiple step sequencers running simultaneously or individually. 
The sequencer modulates the same six different modulation types, including volume, pan, low pass, high pass, and band pass. Adjusting the frequency knob of the step sequencer will either slow down or speed up the rate of the sequence. Use the steps knob to increase or decrease the amount of steps you want control over. Choose from a range of 1 to 16 steps. Click and drag within the step sequencer to customize the waveform and to create truly unique sounds. You can manipulate each step individually, or you can click and drag your mouse across the slots to easily apply a shape across the entire sequencer. In the effects section, you will find six built-in effects slots. Available effects include compression, delay, chorus, flanger, distortion, and stereo spread. Engage desired effects individually by clicking on the desired effect and then clicking the power button on the right side of the effects section. The Pads Patch is a massive collection of over 140 completely original pads created exclusively using the samples from the Performance Patch. The Pads Patch features two pad engines that can be triggered individually or simultaneously, each with their own volume, pan, and equalization controls, as well as the ability to load different pads for easy and effective sound design. To enable a pad, simply click on the power button located in the top left-hand corner of the pad. Mute and solo each pad engine with the mute and solo buttons located in the top right-hand corner of each engine. Clicking the text opens the pad selector, revealing six genre folders to help users get to the sounds they want as fast as possible. Double-click to load a pad. Click the text again to return to the main settings and use the right and left arrow keys to cycle through the pads within the selected folder. Each pad engine can be edited independently. Clicking the empty area of each pad will allow you to switch between each engine. Users can identify which engine is selected by the Engine A or Engine B label. Additionally, the background color of the GUI changes based on which engine is selected, blue for Engine A or gray for Engine B. Lastly, the Pads Patch provides the same movement and effects options as the Performance Patch, allowing for users to infinitely manipulate the pads. For those who have the full version of Contact, the user patch enables you to place your own audio content inside Aris and use the interface powerful controls to further customize your own sounds. With six available group slots, the user patch interface mirrors that of the performance patch. Load WAV or AIFF files into each of the six available group slots. To load your own files into Aris, click on the wrench icon in the top left-hand corner of the interface to open up the back end of Contact. Next, out of the six available groups, select the group you'd like your sample to be assigned to. I'll select group one for demonstration purposes. Once you have the correct group selected, you can then drag the sample you'd like to load into the mapping editor's grid and onto the key you'd like the sample to be rooted to. Once your sample is mapped to a specific key, you can choose to stretch that sample up or down the keyboard. I'll choose C3 for demonstration purposes. After you have the sample mapped to the correct group and laid out on the keyboard in the way that you'd like it to, scroll down to the source editor and change the source from beat machine to sampler. Before exiting the back end of contact, make sure the tracking button is turned on. You can then exit the back end of the interface by clicking on the wrench icon in the top left hand corner of the interface and start playing your sample and using the interface's controls to adjust the EQ, reverb, effects, modulation, etc.